but they were definitely trying to cross our river then. They came right under the river and they looked like they were trying to get across to where I am. Could be wardens. I've just realised I've got absolutely no chance of crossing this river today after all this rainfall. Look at it. Looks like I'm going to get wet. Hello, I'm back out on another camp in the Brecon Beacons. I was going to do a mountain camp tonight, but we've got some bad weather rolling in around midnight and a weather warning for tomorrow. There's supposed to be a lot of rain coming in and possibly some snow. So I thought it'd be wise to stick to low ground. I found myself a wooded area. I've got the tent set up there and I've got the tarp above it for some shelter when the rain does come in. I'm in a cracking little spot in the valley. I've got a river running alongside me. And in the distance behind those trees is Penavan. Some of you may know where I am now. The sun's gone down, so I'm going to finish off setting up camp.
brought the one tigress wood stove me tonight and I've also brought a bag of kindling for firewood. Even though I'm in a wooded area, the reason I've brought kindling is I'm obviously not going to go chopping branches off trees but I also don't want to go collecting all the wood from the ground. Reason being is this place gets camped in quite a lot. There's a large fire pit behind me and signs people have been cutting branches on trees. But if everybody came here so collecting all the wood from the ground, the place would be stripped bare and it's not really good for the habitat. So there's no hardship to carry a little bag of kindling with you. And once a year then it makes for an easy night. I don't have to go collecting and chopping wood now. Just setting up the gas stove. I need a hot cup of coffee. Even though I've got the wood stove, I'm going to cook on gas tonight. It's just a bit quicker and easier. But I need a hot cup of coffee. It's gone really cold. My feet are absolutely freezing to the point they were in pain. I was starting to think that I'd got my feet wet on a river crossing. But I've just checked now, my socks are bone dry. It's just that cold. So I've put an extra pair of socks on, I've put on all my cold weather gear. <laughs> the only thing about putting cold weather gear on is you've got to strip down your boxer shorts. So I've got to put a base layers on. I've got a pair of Rab insulated trousers, but I've got to put long johns underneath them. <laughs> so you've got to strip right off to get it all on. So I have a nice coffee now and warm myself up. I've got coffee bags tonight. Taylor's Hot Lava Java. That's a good coffee, much needed too. I've started to warm up now, the extra layers are starting to do their job. I can get the wood stove on now and get a little bit of heat off there as well. I usually have a can after my food, but I'm going to crack one open early tonight 
I've got two cans of stout. You may have seen my other video where I've got the chocolate fudge brownie, Northern Monk, that I quite enjoy. I came across this in Asda. Never heard of them before. It's called Vacation. And this one is Naughty and Nice Chocolate Stout. It's 5.9%. And on the back, it says a winning combination of chocolate roasted barley and dark crystal malt gives this stout its rich flavour and intensely smooth finish. So that sounds nice. I'm quite looking forward to that. And I've got this one, which is rather unusual. This is Tiramisu Stout. And that is 5.5%. Right, let's give this chocolate one a go. I like that. It's not quite as nice as the chocolate fudge brownie, the Northern Monk, but it's still good. I can actually taste the chocolate in there. It's time to get food on the go now. I'm starting to get peckish. I was planning on having burgers tonight, but when I went in the fridge to get them, the missus had eaten them. So thanks to Marianne, I had to come up with another meal plan. So what I've done, I had some leftover food there from a meal I made, and I vacuum sealed it. In there, I've got a bag of creamy mash. I've got a bag of broccoli and carrots. In there is a pastry. That is a cranberry and vegetable lattice. And I've got a bag of gravy. And for Toby, Toby's got a bag of pork sausages, which he's been nagging me for. He's already eaten once. He's had a big tin of dog food and some biscuits. His appetite seems to go to full of roof when we camp in. Doesn't it, boy? My eyes are looking bloodshot. I haven't been on a whiskey yet. It's the smoke off the fire. So I've had some people ask me about the vacuum sealed food I've been bringing on the camps. If you've never heard of one, all you need to get is a vacuum food sealer. I got mine off Amazon fairly cheap, around 25 to 30 pounds. It came with some bags. I think I got 10 to 20 bags of it. So the bags are really strong. And all you need to do, put the food inside the bag, put it into the machine and it vacuum seals it. And to cook it then, it's just a case of putting it into a pot, boiling water and just let it heat through. They're quite handy. So if I've made a curry in the house, or like tonight, I've got leftover food, just seal it and bring it along on the camp. Much cheaper than dehydrated meals, that's for sure. If you're interested, I'll put a link up in the kit description. Hey Tob, some sausage? Food was good, time for dessert now. Tiramisu. When our temperature dropped earlier, I thought it was going to be in for a really cold night, but it's not too bad at all now, to be honest. It actually feels a little mild. So it's coming up to 10 o'clock. There's still no sign of that bad weather that's meant to be rolling in. I'm looking up at the sky now, and there's not much cloud in the sky either. But the last time I checked, it was meant to be rolling in at midnight and getting really bad towards the morning. There's no 4G around here whatsoever, so I've got no way of checking the forecast. There's some strong winds starting to blow up the valley, the tarp's starting to flap around, so we're going to drop our right down tonight now and lower it, just in case it does turn bad. But if it does roll in, a bit of luck, it'll hold off till I go to bed, and I'll be nice and cosy in the tent.
It's our time of night, guys. It's time for a wee dram. And tonight in here, I have one of my favourite whiskies. In there is Talisker 10 year old from Talisker Distillery up on the Isle of Skye. They do some cracking whiskies. I believe they range from a 10 year old to a 35 year old. And if this tastes good, a 10 year old, I would love to try the 35 year old. But that's not something I'd ever be able to afford. So for now, I'll have to enjoy this. Let's get it poured. It's 45.8% this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it leaves legs running down the glass. It's got a nice peppery aftertaste to it. Nice and peaty. Toby's up and about, he's come to show off his pyjamas. When I walked in today and you saw that dam, that reservoir used to be full and used to be beautiful. The next set of trees across from where I am, that used to be a little island. And on a perfectly still day, you used to get reflections of Pendavan across the res. But the reason I emptied it is because it's a grade 2 listed building and water was causing damage to the dam but I can't remember when he emptied it. I can't remember if it was 15 years ago, 20 years ago, but I do remember the res. So if you know the area and you know when it was emptied, leave a comment in the comment section, because I'd like to know. That's us tucked up for the night. It's gone well past midnight and there's still no sign of this bad weather. So I'm going to switch the lights off now, go to sleep, and it'll be interesting to see what it's like in the morning. Good night. Good morning. I've just put the camera on. I'm having my coffee and I could see some torches and I thought they must be going up the Roman road. But I realised then they're really close and they're actually in the woods opposite me, coming towards me. I didn't see anyone camping there last night. It looks like they're trying to get across the river towards where I am. Should be interesting. They are too, they're crossing the river, heading straight towards me. Could be wardens. I think they're struggling to cross the river. We've had some serious rain tonight. If they are wardens, just leave me alone, please. I've headed off in the other direction now. It looked like they were trying to cross the river to get to where I am. Very strange. And there was definitely no one there last night. I thought they might be going down river to try and cross further down, but it looks like they're walking back up now. Looks like they're heading off. Well, they've gone wherever they were. I thought they may have been wardens. I thought they may have seen my tent lit up and come down to have a word of me. It definitely looked like they were trying to cross our river to get across to where I am. But they've gone now anyway, so never mind. So this rain's been coming on every all night. I don't know what time it came in. I was awake till one o'clock. I went to sleep at one. I woke up half past five. I had a pretty broken night's sleep. The rain was happening on the tarp all night. It kept waking me up. 
It's just gone seven o'clock now. I've waited for it to get light so I can finish packing. I've packed most of the kit inside the tent. So it's just a case now of getting the tent down, then the top. So this next bit should be fun. That's me, all packed up, ready to go. I've had a good clean of the area, cleaned up where I had the wood stove, I've left no trace. I've also collected some litter that some people have left behind, thrown out in the mine. So it's been another good camp, I've enjoyed this one. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and if you'd like to see my next camping trip, feel free to subscribe. Hopefully see you on the next one, guys. I've just realised I've got absolutely no chance of crossing this river today after all this rainfall. Look at it. Looks like I'm going to get wet. I think this is going to be my best chance. Let's see how this goes. Come on, it's home. Let's go. Morning, boy. In fact, let's go up here, Tom. This way. Toby's across. Right, I've only had a little bit of water coming in my boots, so if I get across here. Without getting wet, I'll be quite chuffed. Let's see. Hey, hey, fairly dry feet. 